Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we're going to go out to Bootswatch and get a theme for our application. So what we'll want to do is browse to bootswatch.com where we can get th free themes for Bootstrap. So there are a few themes that you can choose from that are free. Now Bootswatch, I think, also has the ability to do some downloading of premium themes if you want to spend a little more money and get something that looks nice. Now these are going to look nice too but your other ones uh, would give you you know, more advanced features. If you see down here, you can see some different ones that you can actually buy. However, uh, we're going to use a free one, and what we're going to use is going to be Flatly. And if you want to play around here, pause the video, take a look at a few of these, and see which one you like. You don't have to use the one I'm using just to follow along with me. If you like Cyborg, by all means, use Cyborg. You'll be able to do the exact same thing we're doing. Just make sure it's wired up correctly later and you'll have it working just fine. I'm gonna use Flatly. So if we wanna see it, we could preview it, we can see what it'll look like. Notice that it does have this weird green color, but that's okay. It's pretty nice, I like this flat steel blue color, kind of a darker blue, and it has all of the different things that you can see uh, for your bootstrap already wired up. One other thing, if you absolutely hate all of these, but you wanna change some colors, I didn't show you this last time, but if you go out to get bootstrap again, when you're looking at this, on Get Bootstrap, there's actually a configurator. And so if you go out to this Customize tab, you can find a place where you can actually, if you're fairly good with different colors and schemes, you would have to know a little bit about CSS mix-ins and things like that. But you could change a few things. For example, the body background. You can change the color there with a web color. And then it uses some variables to kind of replace things. So it's a little bit deeper than we're going to go in this course. But if you just hated all of the Bootswatch themes and you want to try to mess around and put some of your own colors in, you can go out here and do that. And then down at the bottom, you'll be able to download your custom version of Bootstrap and you will just replace the Bootstrap files in our project and you'd be able to do that. It will also give you a link to come back later if you decide you want to change more of it. You can start from where you left off, which is really nice. But we're just going to go the easy path. We're going to take a Bootswatch theme. Again, we're going to take Flatly. So what I'm going to do is download this bootstrap.min.css and I'm just going to save that link and I'm going to put it right over top of the other one. So I'm going to go all the way down to my MS dev, contact web, contact web, CSS, bootstrap.min.css. I'm overwriting the default that came from Bootstrap. So we're just going to say yes and that will go ahead and get that downloaded and installed on my machine. And that's all there is to it to get the theme that I wanted from Bootswatch. Now again, unfortunately at this point, we're still not quite wired up. Uh, so we have all of our stuff in place, but we're not wired up to run the application. In fact, if I pushed F5 right now, it still wouldn't look good because I don't have my JS and my Bootstrap stuff wired up on my machine in the project correctly. But that wraps up our video on getting Bootswatch. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.